Yep. I know you. Mr. I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Oh, I, oh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh... Well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. We <laughs> have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken, and we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger. And we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the Senator won't mind waiting. Yeah.
Bonjour, monsieur. Hey, mister. Good morning. There you are. Come on. Keep walking. You're late. A couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock-watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave. Forever. We've been doing well, making money. But for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear. Be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific. An untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then, well, we're done. Now, we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on! Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now, remember, we just want me up. money. Don't okay. make this kill you. Give me everything you Mr. got. Man, Quick. Leave these fine Stop folks it. of their valuables. Mr. S, check that room back there. I got this one dying. That's your choice, not mine. All your money now. Don't, Don't make me ask eight. twice. Let my acquaintance get inside. I said, open the gate and let my acquaintance in. Yes. Come on. Of course, these folks must have some money. Now, I'm gonna need everything you got on. There's nothing much okay. here! What? Fine, There's yours. nothing really here! You're sure? Yes! Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you! Behave! We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. M, check the safe! Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn! We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Come on now! We got you surrounded! That Stay greasy son now. of a bitch! He set us up! You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something! The trolley. The trolley! Follow me, gentlemen! Go! Now! Go! Does this trolley go to Tahiti? I hope so! Hold them on, fellas! Look out on the right! Side out, Arthur. We got someone about me, too. Ronde is gonna pay for this. Some riders. 
us out of here. I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, let's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Well, we each got... $15. Oh, <laughs> and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Hosea agrees. Even after that? Uh, especially after that. Uh, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, you can't win them all. Kane. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. Is the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I... Sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Otherwise, you'll have to sneak past the guard.
Hey, Tom. Picking up? Yep. Supposed to meet the early train to Saint Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. Danbury. What? Will you be quiet? I need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. One about the oil near Wapiti. Hi. Hi. Danbury. Think, man. Mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over such a nice floor as this. It's here! It's here! to get you. Hey, 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 hold it right there. Weapons on the ground and hands in the air. Easy now, fellas. Now, we won't tell you again.
just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. <laughs> I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were gonna enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. Easy now. Here. You okay? I will be. I always had a soft spot for that hearing. So, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. By what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way? We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well, 
Business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. A boat? We're headed to a settlement called Le Grab. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See? I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Okay, follow me. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Hosea's lost his spine. This move on Bronte, is it for the bank job? Or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people. Let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really going to work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith. I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I know, but... But, 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 when did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. They're simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. Just feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. Yeah. We need to move. And soon. Haven't I made that clear? I feel like I'm going in circles with all of you. Micah is the only one left with any loyalty. Now, that ain't fair. You are talking like John. I swear that woman is poisoning him against me. I've seen it before. What's the problem here? There ain't a problem. You think Micah would question going after Bronte? No. He'd say, let's go. I'm here, ain't I? I've been at your side for 20 years. I know. I... I... I'm sorry. Son, it's just the endless debate about everything is wearing me down. The others, I can take. But when you're not behind me, it hurts. I'm behind. Blackwater, Valentine, Rhodes, Sean, Kira. I promise. None of it will be in vain. Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. Whoa! Thomas! 
It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's gonna help us get close to our prey. The other night, we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend... Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. Look, if you're bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find it. You live. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the high ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Mr. Dutch, you keep a lookout for company. Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. Can you please check the other one for me, Mr. Arthur? This one's empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going out to Angelo Brunton? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. You can see why eating in swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folk sometimes. The night folk? Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wilder than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. Stop where you are. It's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. All right, let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find him. This trap is stuck in the mud. It happens. Ooh. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My gosh. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. 
I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh. Fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. I... I suppose this can wait. Let's go. My God, there's no shortage of them. Good eating. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. We really should have run into jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. Someone there? Someone there? In the tree! That must be him. Hey, you in the tree. What are you doing? There's a monster. A monster. You okay up there? There's a monster. Where? Master, it nearly ate me. Hey, where'd he go? It's, it's out there. What? A big gator. Biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. You must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I fell. Okay. <laughs> and uh, where'd this monster swim off to? to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. Thank God. So, uh, what do 
these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules, we are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was going to be out here all night. What you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. None. Help, oh, boy. I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we cleared. You're going to need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. <laughs> you'll see any giant monster <laughs> long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple of cracked gunslingers here, but the gun's loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull! He's going, shit, that is one big old gate. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. I've stopped the bleeding. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Put every bullet you got in him! He's under the water, coming right for us. Okay, I think it's had enough. Now, Jesus, can we 
You're gonna be okay, kid. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally, the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kinda reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. <laughs> Can we get some help? Uh, Jules has been bitten. Uh, oh, my God. There's a monster out here. Uh, he's been bitten, but he's alive. Uh, Just keep him warm. Uh, Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. Bad man. I know. Kill some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. But he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. Be safe. We got monsters out here. Well. <laughs>